going on guys welcome to today's video I got a treat for you guys uh, we are going to be doing a bunch of comparison uh, videos we're going to be putting in a cold air intake into the Audi TT RS uh, should give me around 20 to 20 or so uh, horsepower so it should be pretty nice should uh, be able to hear the turbo a little more just gonna put it on and call it a day we're actually gonna be doing a comparison video here uh, and if you guys are wondering I got this from 034 Motorsports not sponsored or anything uh, they just have a great website and that's where I've gotten most of my uh, things that I've gotten for this car so that's what we're gonna be doing I'm gonna show you guys three different views I'm gonna give you the in the car sound before the uh, stock exhaust before and then the engine bay before and then we're gonna do all the same tests after we put in the cold air intake and I'm gonna show you guys what they sound like after so it'll be a nice comparison to kind of hear the difference uh, on sound wise on all three levels engine inside the car and on the exhaust and the last thing I need to point out also is that we are gonna be using sport mode in all of this so um, this exhaust is sport mode so we're gonna put this down put this down about right there I think that'll be good so you guys can hear the exhaust and I'm gonna jump on the interstate here and kind of get on it so you guys can hear this is gonna be the stock comparison so this is stock exhaust no cold air intake right here all right that should be enough inside the bay is what it sounds like that should be pretty good for the stock inside the car uh, now let's go and check out the exhaust before the inter or before the air intake is put on. With the stock exhaust, the stock <clears throat> inside the bay, we're now going to do the last thing, which is going to be the stock uh, uh, where the actual engine is, the stock in the front up here. So I'm going to set it up and then rev and let you guys hear that. Then we'll compare all three after we do the install. Alright guys, let's go grab this box first. We got look at Kappa, look at our mini tree. We haven't got an actual tree yet, so Amber got that. We got we got stockings over there, a cat, one for me and Amber, the cat and the dog. We got the tree, we got a snowman, we got another tree, we got uh what else we got, Kappa, what else we got? We got a snowman there, we got stuff all over there, we got stuff over there, we got oh crack cocaine over there. I mean what? I picked this stuff up from uh what you call it? Walmart. Oh my god, let me turn the light on. Oh, we got another little wreath here. Look dope as fuck. This stuff is crack. It is crack. It is so amazing. If you guys have not gotten this, go to Walmart. It's toast, uh, cinnamon toast crunch sugar cookie. It's absolutely amazing. It's literally like drugs. Cool picture to show you guys. That's an old photo of me I picked up when I went to a house at Thanksgiving. I was probably about 10 years old in that picture, uh, maybe. You can see my head doesn't even come uh, to the top of the crossbar. I think I'm about 10 years old right there. Uh, and then my old goalie skates my parents gave me um, or give you kind of my hand. Um, you can see how small they are. They're very, very small uh, skates. They're one of the first goalie skates I've ever had. Stop drinking water, you're drinking too much, you're being loud. Of course I did get Christmas cookies. Okay, back to what we were doing. This is the box, I'm so excited to show you guys. I already have it open, but I haven't opened really anything at all. And uh, a big huge shout out, like I said, to uh, 034 Motorsports. They actually packaged this thing really well. I'm gonna show you guys. It's like, literally, FedEx and UPS could like smash it and nothing would even go wrong. So, we got these nice little things here, and then look at this beauty. Look at this beauty in here, oh god. This is probably brackets and stuff, I'm assuming. Uh, we got a little uh, little thank you card from 03 Motorsports, and then here is the be God, that thing is so light! Holy crap, that thing is light! Dude, this thing, I know it's full carbon, but like, this is fucking ridiculous! It weighs nothing! That's insane. So, uh, here's the, the main unit. This is, um, I think the... I think actually the air filter is, yeah, the air filter is in there, I believe. Um, but this is the carbon housing. Uh, so I think this is all that's in this box. Yay! Let me uh, take all of this stuff off here. I need to take the uh, all this like wrap that protects it. Let me take it all off and then I'll show it to you guys. Really excited, but I gotta be really careful. I don't wanna cut the filter. Uh, I think the filter may be in that box, but I wanna make sure I don't cut anything. So I'm gonna do this very carefully and yeah. The 
carbon intake out. We're now going to open this box and then I'll show you guys the intake. It literally is fucking awesome. It looks so good. There's so many little details I can't wait to show you guys. But we're opening this little box. I believe this is just a filter uh, and maybe a couple nuts and bolts possibly. But I think that's all that's in here. Let's see. Uh, yep, we're going to have our, uh, our clamps and then... We'll have the actual filter here, as you can see. Uh, so, and then we'll have some, um, looks like some washers. And that looks like to be about it. Let's check this thing out. It is absolutely gorgeous. The carbon fiber weave on it is amazing. I mean, look how reflective it is. You can see the camera in it all the way down. Same thing with the housing. It is incredibly clean. A couple things I want to point out is 034 Motorsource has got this really nice sticker on both parts. It's a, it's a sticker, but it's like a really high quality, nice one there. And I think another one's on the, uh, the bottom side, or, or yeah, on the bottom side of the tube down over here. It's really, really nice. Uh, and another thing is they imprinted on the carbon fiber on one of the spots on here, 034, and it's very, very, uh, it's very hard to notice, but it's, uh, it's there. So. This thing is absolutely beautiful. This is going to be amazing. And it is replacing that black box right there in the hose that's running up. So uh, just kind of give you guys a, a look at the engine bay before. And then after we do this, you can kind of visualize. I'll do another thing of this. But this is going to be really awesome. But first, before we put this bad boy in, we need to take out that old air box. out this should yeah this is coming right up um, so after we get this up I need to take this hose off which is just a clamp uh, and then the rest of this hose will come off so I have to undo a clamp that's over there so let me get onto that should have taken we're now going to slip uh, this guy I had to use these pliers because this is like I don't know can you guys see this right here this is like uh, really fucky back here uh, back in this area let me try to position this better for you guys to see right here so this clamp back here it's, it's really uh, ill positioned for pliers and you have to use pliers to get it off and unfortunately uh, like it's it's back behind this so I have to kind of shimmy these pliers in there and try to grab this so I can actually, it's not on the housing, it's just on the, the tube and I need this one off the tube because we're putting a new one on, a different one that doesn't cause you to get in, doesn't cause you to get in here with pliers like this. Um, it was really awkward to get the hose off, but once I did get it off, it came off. All right, we're just using manpower. Squeeze these clamps. Arrgh. Almost got it. Let's rotate it. There we go. All right. Now that it's rotated, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't uh, wasn't rotated properly. And these are actually going to be too big. So we are actually just going to have to muscle this thing off the clamp there. There we go. All right. So uh, we're going to retain this guy. Um, as you can see, the piping that did go through here, it is gone now. We're also going to take out that bad boy over there. Over meow. Over right meow. Yeah, we're gonna take that guy out. This is the uh, stock air filter. It's actually really clean. So, uh, you know, shout out to uh, the place I bought my car. They didn't give me a fucking old air filter. It's actually really new. So, we're gonna throw that on the ground because we're not gonna use that again. Um, I actually, well, what took me so long is I had to use, uh, I had to take the, the, the hose off here because this fucker would not come off. It was like corroded on the edge here, and I had to like twist it off, and it finally came off, but we had that put on. So now the last thing to do really is to connect our uh, 03 Motorsports 1, which we will have to probably set here very contingently. Oh yeah, there's the carbon fiber. Oh God, 
carbon fiber imprint thing there. Um, we're gonna probably better to just sit it, seat it in here already. But this is gonna be a little teeter-tottering. We're we'll have to get it to fit in the housing over here and at the same time get it to fit here. So you see my predicament here. So we'll go ahead and get this installed. had the um, the clamp my little hose clamp up here I thought I had that already loosened um, but I guess it wasn't loosened all the way so it is now uh, I chose not to put the air box on that yet simply because I didn't uh, feel it was necessary until after we got that on uh, so what we're gonna do now is just tighten stuff up we have this hose back down on here we have to pull this thing back up to this to hold it uh, the clamp then we need to tighten this clamp right here that's on the air intake, put our bolts back in, and then finally tight, tighten that clamp right there. So we're basically done for the most part. Shake it a little bit, make sure we're good. All right, that's it. So we are uh, we are in there. This is perfect here. The pipe comes out perfectly, and voila, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today. I need to uh, go ahead and uh, do the startup and everything for you guys tomorrow. It is too late at night uh, for me to be revving this in my garage uh, with the door open. So I will continue in uh, like well, it'll be like a split second for you guys, but. I will be wearing something different if you're asking why. to the next day a couple things one we need to let the car warm up for a while because it has been below freezing uh, since probably about nine o'clock last night actually probably since about eight o'clock last night and it has been snowing uh, I don't know if you can see some snow out there um, it's not like accumulating or anything uh, it's just really a dusting but it's been constant snow uh, for like I said uh, probably more than 12 hours now uh, just flurries but it is accumulating a little bit but it's really nothing uh, so we need to let this car warm up a good amount before we do anything uh, so we're gonna let it warm up uh, we're gonna do the exhaust test uh, in the garage like we did uh, this is after because the uh, cold air intake is already in uh, and then we're gonna do the uh, engine bay test and then I'm gonna go try to do inside the car test uh, but because the roads are really slick I need to make sure I'm not doing anything stupid so I don't go out of control uh, granted this is all-wheel drive um, it is Audi's famous uh, quattro thing um, where it's not fully uh, all-wheel drive but if there's any slippage it makes it even Uh, 
Alright guys, so obviously you can hear a very big difference. Uh, you can hear the actual whistling of the uh, of the turbo. You can hear it spooling uh, with the cold air intake with the exhaust and the uh, front, the engine comparison. So right now we're about to do the comparison in the engine bay. Last time, if you guys remember, I did put the window down. Sorry if that's shaking a lot. It is not mounted up there perfectly right now. So we're gonna my ship down a little bit here. I can already hear it spooling. Uh, you can hear the turbo spooling, and if this knocks off, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't have it completely secured on there right now because we're just recording this bit, but you motherfucker. Oh man, you can hear the fucking, the blow off there. Yeah, you can hear the blow off now. It's not crazy loud like Lotus, like my Lotus was, but you can actually hear it now, so let me hear it again here. Do you hear it a little bit? You, you can hear it if you, I'm hoping the mic picks it up, but you can hear it as it goes, it, you hear it whistle and spool a little bit, and then you hear it go whoosh, like a little bit. It, it's very tiny compared to my Lotus, um, which had a, you know, a much bigger turbo in it. Uh, but it's it's definitely there and it's definitely a very satisfactory uh, result. I do actually feel a little bit more response uh, and it is louder in the engine bay. Uh, I can hear more noise engine bay compared, or I can hear more in the exhaust, but I can still hear a little more in the engine than I did before. Uh, and also I, I feel like I'm getting a better response on the pedal. Uh, I just feel like it, it is a little better. So I think that's the, uh, I believe you get around nine horse or nine uh, torque to the wheel and about 13 horsepower to the wheel. So uh, it is a nice little tiny difference, nothing crazy, nothing huge, but enough to, you know, be able to feel a little something. Uh, and definitely changes the sound. You guys can see this, but we are driving in a winter storm right now. It's just coming out in buckets. No, it's really not coming down really hard at all. It's, this is really flurries, but uh, yeah, anyways. Again, if you guys are Audi TT owners, uh, this is a TTRS one. Uh, I recommend you go into 034 motorsportscom That's where I got my stuff. It's where I'll be getting more stuff. I know a lot of you guys want to know what my plans are with this car. I do have a lot of plans. Um, however, first I have to get a couple things out of the way. Uh, and first was the cold air intake. And next is the uh, the intercooler. I'm getting, uh, it's called the Evo 3 uh, intercooler. Uh, to put on, to take this one off. Uh, to have it ready for a bigger bigger turbo. Guys, I will be pushing uh, around 710 horsepower. Uh, that's what I want to get to. I've already been quoted for it um, by IROS Motorsports out in Las Vegas. Uh, so uh, I've already been quoted for that and it's actually way cheaper than my Lotus was, expectively. Uh, and it'll be pushing uh, 710 horsepower uh, up to. I want to push those numbers. I need to do everything I can to prepare my car for when we get that turbo put on it uh, and doing things like the cold air intake uh, and the bigger intercooler is gonna help uh, the dyno numbers so the car doesn't run as hot or have any heat soak. Uh, so we're gonna be able to do those parts so when I get to IROS Motorsports, they don't have to add those on, they're already there and they can dyno it at a higher number because I have those parts on it. It'll help in the long run, that's really what I'm going for with that. Uh, and then I will, uh, when, after I get it turboed, I could put a downpipe on it now, uh, a bigger downpipe, uh, but the reason I'm not doing it now is because you have to take it somewhere to get installed because you can't do it yourself. It's, I mean, you could, but it's, it's pretty challenging on the Audi. Uh, so I'm probably just going to wait on that until I get the car turboed because uh, that's something that they are going to do unless I did it. So I'm just going to let the, that be in the turbo package, let them do that. Uh, and then, you know, I'll be running a bigger downpipe or a downpipe and when, when I have that on, that's when the exhaust is really going to wake up. That's today's video. Uh, we are going to be doing little things here and there with the Audi. I have a lot of busy things happening in my life in December. I can't discuss them because I don't want to. Uh, it's my personal life stuff. I have a lot going on. When the time comes and you guys need to know what's going on, I will tell you guys. Uh, just hang with me. Bear with me. It's going to be fun. I love you guys. Uh, I may be strapping up a GoPro for some hockey videos because I have been skating out. So I'll let you guys know on that. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys like the install. Uh, shout out to Zero Three Motorsports for having an awesome website, even though it's not sponsored. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.